So today we are going to solve some practical questions on functions and this will help in solving questions on college entrance exams such as arts and SAT. Meanwhile, if you are here to like this video, like it, subscribe and share to your friends. Question 1 says, what is the effect on the graph of the function f of x 2x squared plus 5 when it is changed to f of x? equals 2x squared minus 3. What I want you to note here is both functions differ by their intercepts. And so if we sketch this function, it looks like if this is 5, the function cut from 5. And if we sketch this function, the y-intercept is minus 3. The function remains the same, but it cuts the vertex. It cuts at minus 3. So what has changed from this to this is the graph shifts down the y-axis. So when we adjust the intercept, we adjust the shifting of the graph along the y-axis. So D is the correct answer. Question 2 says, what is the highest point on the graph of the parabola? g of x equals minus x plus 4 all square minus 5. Remember, the general formula for a quadratic function is f of x, ax square plus bx plus c. We ask, the standard form of a quadratic function is given as f of x, a bracket x minus h all square plus k where h and k are the vertices now if we compare this with this we will see that a is minus one h because here is minus so h here will be minus four and k because here is plus here is minus k is minus five so the highest point on the graph, the parabola will look like this because of this minus. Since A is negative, the parabola will look, we open downwards. And so the highest point is minus 4, comma, minus 5, which is C. Question 3 says, if M of X is X, bracket s plus 5 and n of x is 1 minus 1 over 2 x square compute m minus n of minus 2 so what is m minus n m minus n is which is x square plus 5 x minus 1 minus 1 over 2 x square this is s square plus 5 x minus 1 plus because minus minus is plus 1 over 2 s square. s square plus 1 over 2 s square is 3 over 2 s square plus 5x minus 1. So now m minus n of minus 2 simply means substitute minus 2 for x in this quadratic expression. So it will be 3 over 2 minus 2 square plus 5 minus 2 minus 1. Minus 2 square is 4. And 2 can cancel 4 2 times. 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times minus 2 is minus 10 minus 1. 6 minus 10 is minus 4. Minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5. So the answer is C. For number 4, the profit from selling x number of sweatshirts can be described by the function p of x 22x minus 230. What is the profit of 200 sweatshirts if 200 sweatshirts are sold? We are given the profit function as 22x minus 230. So where x is the number of sweatshirts. So if the number of sweatshirts is 200, we simply substitute 200 for x. So this is 
22 times 200 minus 230. 22 times 100 here is 2,000, 4,400. And 22 times 100 here is 2,200 times 2 is 4,400 minus 230. And if we subtract this, we will have $4,170, which is A. For question number 5, we are told that if D of X is 9 minus X squared over 16 plus X squared, and e of s is root of x, compute e of d of x. This is composition of functions. And so in composition of functions, e of d of x is e of d of x. That is, we'll take d of x and then put it for x in e of x. So this will be e of what is d of x this is our d of x 9 minus x square over 16 plus x square so we'll put this for x in e of x so e of x is root x and our x is now this which is 9 minus x square over 16 plus x square and the correct option is d Question C says, a company sells designer key chains. Its monthly revenue is modeled by R of X equals 27X and its costs are modeled by C of X equals this, where X is the number of key chains sold. Find R of X minus C of X. This is just arithmetic simplification. So, R of X minus C of X will be 27x minus 7x plus 1, 2. And if we open the bracket, we'll have 27x minus 7x minus 1, 2. Don't make the mistake of leaving this as plus. 27x minus 7x is 20x minus 1, 2. And the correct option is C. Question 7 says, which of these functions is the result of shifting f of x equal absolute value of x down by 5 units? Now, the first thing you like to know is, how is the absolute value function sketched? So, if this is our x and y as is, the graph of absolute value of x, this is how it looks like, where here is zero. So, just like the question we saw in number one, if we shift this down by five units, what we are doing is, we are shifting the output, the result is already absolute value of x, we are shifting the output by a factor of five downwards. And so, that we warrant to be if this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So it will now be this our new function. And this is absolute value of x minus 5. The function, the output function minus 5, which is b. G of S equals S minus 5. The graph of that simply means a shift of the graph to the right hand side. This is for G of S equals this. This is, if this is 5, this is what absolute value of X minus 5 means. For C, this is a shift of the graph to the left. If this is minus 5, this is absolute value of x plus 5. Why this? This is invert because of this minus sign. This will flip the graph upside down and scale it by 5. So this is, we increase, we scale it 
to scale it means it gets wider because of this minus 5. So this is absolute value of 5. Yes. But the correct option for this, when it's shifted down by 5 units, is absolute value of x minus 5. Question 8 is very interesting. This is what problem on composition of functions. You can earn $17.50 per hour at your job. You are given a raise of 2% after 5 months. In addition, you receive $1 per hour for being a model employee. Find your new hourly wage if the $1 raise is applied before the 2% raise. So, the $1 raise is applied before the 2% raise. Let's start by saying, let your hourly wage, which is this, the X, just to make it simple. And so, giving a 2% after 5 months of this, let's call the function F of S. Let f of s be the function whereby you are giving a 2% raise of your hourly wage. So 2% of this will now be x plus 2 over 100x. This is your new pay after 5 months, which is x plus 0.02x. And this is 1.02x. Now, and nothing happens. In addition, you receive $1 per hour for being a model employee. How do we model this? Let's call this G of X, whereby you are giving $1 per hour. So it will not be X plus $1. Now, these are the two benefits you have in this company. Now we are asked to find your new hourly wage if the $1 raise, which is this G of S, is applied before the 2% raise. So we are looking for F of G of X so that the $1 raise is applied before the 2% raise. So F of G of S will now be F of X plus 1. Remember, our x is the 17, which we have not written. $17.05. This is f of 17.50 cent plus 1, which is f of, that is 18.50 cent. Now, what is our f of x? Our f of s is $1.02. Cent. So this will now be one dollar two cents where s is 18 times 50 and if we multiply this we will have 18.87 cent which is d for question 9 it says if f of x is x minus 1 over x and g of x is x plus 1 over x compute the multiplication not the composition of f and g of minus 1 over 2. So this is different from this. Why this is multiplication of f and g and then you operate it on minus 1 over 2. This is composition of j and k and then you operate it on minus 3. So the first thing we do here is to multiply f and g which will be f times g is x minus 1 over x times x plus 1 over x. If you observe, this is difference of 2 square. And from difference of 2 square, we know that this will give us x square. Using this term, square each of the term, minus 1 over x square. Now, we are now going to take f times g of minus 1 over 2, which will be x square minus 1 over x square operating on minus 1 over 2. So we'll substitute minus 1 over 2 for x into this place. 
So we we'll have minus one over two all square minus one over minus one over two all square. Minus one over two all square is one over four. This is minus one over one over four. And inverse of one over four, this will give us one over four minus four. And this will be four times four is 16 one minus 16 is minus 15 this will be minus 15 over 4 and the answer is a question 10 says if j of x is 2 root x minus 1 and k of x is absolute value of 1 minus x compute the composition of j of k operating on minus 3 so j of k Acting on minus 3 is same as j of k acting on minus 3. What is k of minus 3? k of minus 3 will be absolute value of 1 minus minus 3. This will be j of 1 plus 3. And 1 plus 3 is 4. An absolute value of 4 is also 4 because it's positive. So we are going to substitute x for 4 in j of x. So this will now be 2 root 4 minus 1. 2 root 4. Root 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 1. This is 3. So the answer is b. Question 11 says, if f of x is 3x squared plus 1 and f of x plus y is 3x squared plus 24x plus 49, what is the value of y? Now, f of x is this. f of x plus y will be to put x plus y into x squared plus 1. We will have 3x plus y all square plus 1 equals 3x square plus 24x plus 49. Because we are told that f of x is this. So f of anything will substitute that value, the input, into the value of x. That is what we have done here. And we are told that it's equal to this. So let's simplify this. If we open this bracket, we will have this x square plus 2xy plus y square plus 1 equals 3x square plus 24x plus 49. We can subtract 1 from both sides. We have 3x square plus 2xy plus y square. If we subtract 1 from both sides, 49 minus 1 will be 3x square plus 24 plus 49, 48. 3 is common. I can divide 3. 3 here. 3 here is 1. 3 here is 8. 3 here is 16. So I'm left with x square plus 2xy plus y square. Plus x square plus 8. This is x. S plus 16. So I can subtract x square from both sides. So that this is gone. And what I'm left with is 2xy plus y square equals 8x plus 16y. If we compare coefficient, we see that 2xy have to be equal to 8s because there's no x here. For these two to be equal, these two have to be equal. So we have 2xy is equal to 8s and y square equal to 16. That is for this to be equal because we have s here. s can cancel s and 2 can cancel for 8. So that we have y equal to 4. Also, if we look at here, we see it's still equal. y is equal to plus or minus 4. And the option, correct option is 4. y is 4. Question 12 says, the function f is defined for all values of x as f of x equals 50 minus a x squared. Where a is a constant. If f of 4 is 2, 
then what is the value of a so what we will do is to put f of 4 equals 2 into this function and then find a we have f of x equals 50 minus a x square f of 4 will be 50 minus 4 square is 16 16a and we are told that it's equal to 2 so what i can do here is I can subtract 50 from both sides so this will be minus 16a equals 2 minus 50 is minus 48 and i can divide both sides by minus 16 divide by minus 16 so that's a if minus 16 divide this it will be 3 so the correct option is b thank you for watching you can see other interesting content in my youtube channel see you in the next video bye